Here we are, Misfits K9. I haven't seen these guys in like five, six years. Checking the homie, I speak dog. Oh man, just putting me on so much knowledge. It's, it's all stuff that it's like, you know, I guess a lot of people in the dogs know, but it's just fine tuning technique to get the best results out of your dog. So Corona's relatively well trained, but you know, I do breed her. And, uh, you know, so she's been pregnant uh, a couple times. And therefore, you know, during that period of time when she's pregnant or is whelping her litters, uh, I don't get to train her that much. So she's never, she hasn't been super sharp. Um, it would be much easier to be training with a male dog, um, you know, that isn't going through the heat cycles and things like that. So here we are just working on uh, some little things, fine tuning her obedience. Um, and uh, she's doing a great job. And uh, the homies at Misfits K9 are just, man, just putting me on so much knowledge and getting this technique really on point. All right, so in the previous clip, we were just working on getting the dog to do obedience through drive, and encouraging the dog to listen to what we want the dog to do through, uh, you know, high energy play. Um, and now what we're doing is uh, some protection work. This is civil work. So it's teaching the dog not to just go after uh, the suit or the sleeves or these different toys. You can see Corona just glanced at the sleeve and she had interest, but we want her to focus on the man. Um, and this thing makes things much more reliable when you're working with a protection dog because you want a dog that is going to focus on the person at all times. You don't want the dog to, um, you know, just grab a piece of clothing or something like that and be totally satisfied. So after we worked um, on the civil agitation, you know, uh, my homie I Speak Dog, he has on the suit now, and he's just showing me some suit techniques um, to get uh, Corona to be biting uh, more deeper and uh, just perfect her bite and, and pushing forward. Um, so now he has on the bite, salute, the bite suit, the upper portion of it. Uh, Corona's very interested. She's interested in the suit. She's interested in him even more than the suit, and he's gonna agitate her a little bit more get her riled up and then let her have a bite and uh here we go boom so she got that real nice she's in the pocket right where he wants her and then he's just teaching me some back and forward motion technique to get the dog to be digging deeper and to to bite calmly bite and uh, push forward while she's doing that most dogs tendency is to pull back so in this technique we're teaching the dog to um you know, as much as we are pulling back and letting the dog go, we're teaching the dog that it needs to be making a forward motion. You can see right there, Corona wanted to pull back. She's doing it a little bit again. And now we're starting to see a little bit of the technique where she wants to come into the bite rather than just bite and pull away. We want her to confidently bite into it. So, you know, in real life protection, uh, this does matter, but it's even uh, it's also very important on uh, if you're doing competition level stuff. If you have a dog that's moving forward all the time, it's way more uh, easy to have that dog uh, always performing a nice deep grip that they're not going to lose on. So, um, so we're seeing what we want and um, and how she's acting. If I was doing this uh, type of technique earlier, we would have even better results. Um, but you know, it's uh, not entirely new to me, but um, you know, uh, these guys have been uh, training a little bit longer than me and also do have mentors that have been training for, you know, quite some time. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm as old as their kids are basically. So uh, yeah, we're getting some nice results out of this and uh, seeing some great things right here. So we got Corona off again, and we're just letting her have a go at it again. Repetition is key. So here we are, we're having another um, small session, working on the same thing after we let Corona have a little bit of rest, catch her breath. Okay, and another thing that's important, some people think, you know, my dog will always protect me and why do we do this sort of uh, training? And you know, all dogs bite. So what we want is a dog that will calmly 
do its job, bite when it's told to, release when it's told to, and that is much better than a dog that just decides to itself when they're allowed to bite and when they're not. Another thing uh, with working on these targets and teaching the dog to bite specific areas and uh, stay calmly in that bite is uh, it's much less of a liability than if you're just to have a dog that just you know will bite a person um, all over the place and, and sort of maul them uh, this is a much better situation because even if the dog is to bite somebody and let's say someone breaks in your home and uh, you know it's a situation where you'd want the dog to be biting somebody um, the dog is going to bite that person hopefully one area and that person can after get uh, you know medical care in one specific location rather than you know well this dog bit me all over the place um, so that's another reason for this but uh, this is mostly sport training um, but you know it would uh, I'm sure Corona would perform also in real life scenario if it did happen um, you know as we would expect her to another thing to consider if you're interested in training a dog for sport or protection work is you know it's a big responsibility you have to be cautious of the type of situations you're putting your dog in your dog doesn't necessarily understand english or whatever language you speak um so you have to you know put the dog in a situation to win you're not gonna you know uh you know have somebody acting crazy drunk or something like that around the dog and expect the dog not to uh, possibly be interested in going after that person so it's your responsibility to only put your dog in, in situations where it's going to thrive Here we are with Bane. Bane is uh, an amazing protection dog. Um, he was actually, him and his owner, Dale, um, were actually contracted uh, to do um, services um, around the riots and actually keeping people at bay from uh, some specific locations. Um, so just an amazing real life protection dog um, that definitely does his job. As you can see, he's consistently moving forward. He's always wanting to get a deeper and more full bite. And he is definitely staying in one location. Um, obviously, I'm wearing a rather sick uh, bite suit, but this dog is powerful. Uh, he's very knowledgeable as well in the way he's trying to push me around and uh, counter my weight. Um, it's a bit of a game to him because he knows how strong he is and that if he bites you in a certain way, um, he, you know, he can, uh, he can kind of maneuver you the way he wants. Um, the biggest thing I found interesting about this dog was, and I'm pointing it out right here, is that he, he'll lean on your other leg that he's not biting um, to, to even more try and throw you off. Um, just to try and have the upper hand on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the decoy. Um, that's a person in the bite suit. Um, so I was very impressed with this dog's ability and his strength. Um, great great training and a lot of the similar foundation to uh you know um the, the people i was training with before um as they, they did help uh, with the earlier stages of this dog to my knowledge um so dale's done an excellent job with this dog also a great trainer in uh, the maryland area and uh, it was a real pleasure to be uh decoying this dog uh that i've watched uh, numerous times online obviously uh online does not do i would say any of these dogs justice um seeing them in person and definitely taking bites from them uh just allows you to appreciate them in a different way and this dog is powerful um I definitely definitely do not understand just by watching the video just how powerful this dog is um and you know it's 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 a little bit of time since uh we actually took this video and i can still feel a little bit of bruising on my thigh from where he's biting me right here um very impressive dog
big shout out to all the guys that helped out with this video uh, misfits k9 dale um hill um des really appreciate you guys thanks for having me out it was a pleasure seeing you guys i'm going to leave everybody's ads in the description below and thank you guys for watching gkk fam